Hello, welcome to my little demonstration of how the Applic Security works. Uh, as you can see, I'm just going to use Access here to uh, uh, to demonstrate the product. Of course, you can use uh, any .NET language or any other compilable code, um, but I'm just going to use Access for the, uh, the the easiness of it. So, first things first, I'm going to uh, drop the control onto the form. Simple as that. So, what we'll see. When we right-click this, uh, the the security control, and we select the properties, we can see certain properties. Uh, I want to draw your attention here to the application code. Uh, the application code is what defines the application itself. Um, you can read more about that in the help section. But this uh, this record here has to match the one on the on the website. That's very important. Otherwise, it won't be able to uh, uh, activate via the website. And you'll see some more of that later. Uh, just some other variables that are uh, involved here. This is for the internet unlock, so you can uh, collect certain amounts of information from the users. Now, when you purchase a license for the security product, uh, what we do is we'll send you a license code that you can use, customer code that you can en enter here. Uh, this is what this is how we access the web component. So I set up a, a dummy one. Of course, we leave the password empty to start off with, so that uh, you can set it yourself. Uh, I see we've got a warning here that we have to set the application code and password to continue. Now we do that, of course, uh, for your own security. So uh, where do we get the application code from? Well, we go back to the uh, original application, and we can see that here is our application code. So we can copy that, and we can paste that back into here. I'm going to set a password, which of course I'm going to delete as soon as I've uh, finished showing you this demonstration. Uh, we submit that, and there we go. So now, what we have to do is add ourselves a user. And as we uh, want to keep these uh, fairly random, uh, we have a generate license key button. And uh, the only other thing we need to do is say that we want to give one license to this customer. Our customer is going to be the very imaginative name of new customer. And so I'm going to copy that. Our uh, user has been updated. So now we've got one user added to our database. So now we have a user added to the database. We can launch the uh, application here, a little mini application with a one line of code and uh, we're going to enter the license code that we were given and just some dummy information here so we can see it later click OK and it's let us into the application as we can see the uh, runtime view of the form so if we go back to our web page and we select that same customer uh, we can now show the codes and we can see that there is me at me.com who has uh, activated the security uh, with my name on my laptop so there's going to be questions asked about that okay so <clears throat> let's just have a look at what uh, one or two things that we can do uh, now with this user we can uh, we can set an expiry date so just for the fun of it let's set one for uh, the end of this year uh, we can set a feature code. Now a feature code will dictate which parts of the application the uh, customer has paid for or um, hasn't paid for. So just uh, for fun let's you know, put something very simple in. And uh, now what we can do is we can submit that, that will update that user. Okay so uh, another thing we can do of course we can delete that user. That key is no longer in existence. So somebody else now could unlock using this code. Uh, however, uh, our test user has decided to pay us some more money, so we can now uh, restore that that, uh, that user. Um, if we were within a, an organization or a company that had five or six individuals that all needed to use the security, uh, we could easily just update this to any number that we wanted to be. And then 10 users uh, could activate the license. The 11th user would get an error message saying that they uh, had run out of keys. Just for completeness, we'll just have a look at uh, a little bit more functionality. 
uh, these buttons are just uh, there's basically calling the member methods and functions properties of the uh, uh, of the control. So we set the feature code on the website. We set the expiry date on the website. Uh, see our usage count is two. So of course I did a little test run before I uh, showed it to the uh, to the camera. Um, our fingerprint that we use to activate uh, a license key. That's what we entered to validate the license. And our license status is that we're licensed. We can invalidate the license. So now that license is no longer active. We can force activation, which calls up the, uh, the, the dialogues again. Now say that you didn't want to do uh, uh, an online activation, say that the customer didn't have uh, internet access. What you would do uh, is you would click the offline button, they would give you a call and they'd tell you that their fingerprint is, uh, is as such, and then within the application on the uh, on the website you can do a manual unlock so you can do this over the phone or via email and what you do is very simply enter the fingerprint in there with or without the dashes click the submit button it draws all that information together and this is the code that you can then send back to the customer who can enter it into here, so you, prefer, you probably want to do this via email rather than over the phone and once you click that you're then licensed again. So I hope that's been quite useful to you. Uh, if you have any other questions please contact us via the website. Uh, we'd be glad to answer any questions. Okay, thanks.